So this is page two of the uh, shoulder blades thoracic gliding exercises. Um, so the first one is where you sit on a chair or a couch or your bed and you're going to cross your ankles and you're going to slide them back. So that kind of gets your posture more up. You're going to place your hands like this on your legs so that your thumbs are pointing to the ceiling. You're going to slide your elbows back really close to you, pull your shoulder blades back, look up to the ceiling, breathe in, and then let it go. Then slide back to your knees, uncross your ankles, and go down to your ankles with your hands. And you're going to do that a couple times. So do it one more time. You cross your ankles, put your hands like this, thumbs pointing up, slide your elbows back, shoulders back, look up, inhale, and let go, and then go down to your ankles. So what we're working on is getting your rib cage going backwards and your rib cage going forwards. And now we're going to work on the second one, which is, there's four parts to it. The first one is, actually three parts of it. Um, the first one is you're going to sit on that same place. You're going to put your arms out. And this is going to do a side to side gliding. So arms are out, your thumbs are going to point up, and you're going to pretend like you're reaching for something. So you're going to reach for something this way and then you're going to reach for something that way and make sure your head is looking the direction of your reach and looking and reaching and the other thing you want to make sure is that your hip is coming up on this side as you're reaching and your hip is coming up on the other side when you're reaching on this side. So you have to have that little rock and roll thing in your hips as well as your ribs. Okay, so you do about three or four of those. Then you can rest for a second. And then the second one is the place of reaching is a little bit higher, like a foot higher. And your other hand is going to be more lower. So higher and lower, you're going to do that same rocking, reaching, but a little bit higher on the, the arm that's reaching. And then always come back down and reach. So it's kind of like a diagonal rather than straight across like the first one. And then you do a few of those, and then you rest. And make sure also when you do your reaching, no matter which direction you're reaching, if you're getting any numbness or tingling in your fingertips, um, you're reaching too far. So don't let your hands start tingling. You just do little glides if you have to, but your goal is to have a nice good stretch to it. And then the third one is you want to make sure you're going to have a twist to your upper body. So you're actually going to reach behind you this time. So you might want to come a little bit farther forward. And then when you put your arms out, one up and one down, you're going to actually turn and reach to a corner in the room. And a corner is it behind, is it behind you. So behind you. And you're going to also see your hips rocking as same as you did with the side to side. This side, you can, you can kind of look at my legs and they're kind of a scissoring. So when I go this way, you can see this leg's going down, this leg's going up, and I have that hip rising. So hip is rising, scissoring with my knees as I'm reaching. Okay. And so those are those three. And that's that.